So I'm going to show you a little bit about the MSD uh, DIS system. Um, they make this conversion kit um, for Chevy and Ford right now. Um, I think Chrysler Mopar is coming. Uh, it's not released yet. Um, so a little bit about the kit. Uh, it comes in red and black. Uh, you know, not really important, but to some people it is. I decided I wanted red. It comes with the coils. It comes with the wires, uh, the harness, uh, dual sync distributor, and the controller. Um, so um, it's really not all that hard to install. I've gotten a lot of questions from some folks on different forums about how this system works and how you set it up. Um, they give you really good instructions, first of all, but it's not really any different than setting up a distributor. Um, uh, as you can see, I opted to install the coils on the firewall. Um, I kind of wanted to keep the original, you know, look, you know, your typical look of spark plug wires. Um, you know, it, it's probably not as good because the wires are a little bit longer. They're not all the same length, um, but there really isn't a good way to mount them, especially in my setup. You know, I didn't really have a place in the fender. I didn't want to change valve covers. Um, I didn't want to put the coils over the exhaust, you know, it's not a good place for them. So I made these brackets um, and uh, mounted up on the firewall here, you can see. Um, so down here you can see where the dual sync distributor is. Um, I'm not going to take that cap off because it's kind of hard to get to with everything in place. Um, but inside of there is... Um, where the rotor would mount it's actually just a dual sync distributor that, that would have a cap and rotor on it msd just sells it with this cap so you could actually use this distributor if you wanted to with a cap and rotor um, but it's got a cam and crank sensor in it um, so it's got two optical sensors um, on a chevy uh, number one cylinder would be pointed this direction towards number one um, you simply set it up so uh, you have the LEDs and the uh, optical sensors on the front right here. Um, and when you line up your distributor with number one, uh, you're also lining up the sensors right there with number one. Um, and there's a little pointer notch on the steel plate that's in here that the rotor would be mounted to. So you know what, what orientation it's in because the sequence is built into the distributor. You can't screw up the sequence because They've done that based on how the two sensors are offset from each other inside. So that's how it knows to, to fire um, sequentially. Uh, so um, there's a little harness that hooks up to that guy there. I'll go over to this side. Um, here's the controller. Uh, I put it here because this is where my 6A used to be. Um, obviously, I, I took that out. Um, interesting thing about this controller is it has a map sensor built into it right here. Um, so I just ran a vacuum line to it. It's probably not good that the line is that long. Um, it may not matter, but, uh, anyways, so, uh, that way you can get your vacuum advance and that's fully adjustable. Um, so it comes, like I said, with all the harnesses and everything. Um, if you're an EFI guy, like, uh, like I am, I've got a Phytech unit on here, um, you just simply need the tack signal. Um, I didn't like doing timing control with this thing. It didn't work the way I wanted it to. I didn't like the way the phasing worked on the rotor. Um, you know, there's 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 a whole bunch of things with that. I, I, I just, I had problems with it. This thing's always run great with just a tack signal and doing fuel only. So I just, I had kind of switched it back and forth a few times and then I decided I was gonna go with this system. Um, so uh, the way that MSD tells you to set this thing up is uh, when you, you leave the cap off of it so you can see that the, there's LEDs in there. There's the optical sensors and LEDs. And the LEDs tell you when each sensor is flagged or not. Um, so uh, what I did um, was, well, I, I think I originally followed their instructions and their instructions didn't get it close enough to start. It was way too far retarded. Um, but so my suggestion for setting the timing on this thing is put your crank 
you know, get your get your pointer lined up on 15 degrees on number one. Make sure you're on number one. Um, and uh, take a look at those LEDs and you just rotate that guy. And when both LEDs come on, they tell you like to rotate it to where they come on and then turn off. I, I think that that probably didn't work as well. I've taken it apart a few times since then. So I've had to do it a few times. Um, but um, you rotate it just so those LEDs turn on. I'd, I'd do it like if you were advancing it. And as soon as they turn on, tighten it up there. You know, you're going to have to adjust it, but that's probably enough to get it started. Um, uh, if you've wired everything right, all the, the coils are all marked and everything, so you can't really, you can't really screw it up. Um, it, it, uh, you know, I, I actually, I will say they didn't mark every single one of these wires, but in the, in the instructions, it tells you, you know, it's one, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight, I think, um, you know, closest and furthest to the end. It's not hard. Um, so, you know, just make sure you wire it all up, right. You know, make sure you get the right, the right sequence set up. Um, on this, I can see actually, um, cause I've got it marked, you know, it's uh, the furthest one is one. So this would be one, three, five, seven. Um, and I assume this is probably two, two, four, six. Yeah, it is. I can see it. Two, four, six, eight. Um, so they, they've made it pretty foolproof. And like I said, the instructions are really good. Um, so if you've done all that right and you line this thing up, uh, 15 degrees. And the reason I say 15 degrees is because when you plug into this guy, it's got a USB port right here, by the way, I'll talk about that in a second. Um, it's a little mini USB port. Um, when you plug into this guy, uh, you're the one thing that you can really control on it when you're setting it up is locking the timing. So, uh, cause this thing's going to do all kinds of stuff. It's going to vary the timing depending on how you've got it set up, even at idle. So you, you're not going to be able to, you're not gonna be able to nail it down unless you lock it. So if you lock it at 15 degrees, when you fire it up or get it to fire, I recommend getting a friend to help you. Um, I did that, uh, to have him crank it. I hooked the timing light up. I had him crank it and I could actually see I was way far off. So then, you know, I just adjusted it till it would run. Then once it was up and running, I had this guy locked at 15 degrees and uh, I just adjusted the distributor until it matched and uh, locked it down and that's it. Um, I did another video on the uh, actual software for this guy, um, but uh, to plug into it, it's actually pretty nifty. You can, you can actually have this thing sitting on your kitchen table if you want. Um, it doesn't have to have ignition power to program it. Um, it's USB powered only for programming purposes. So you can plug in here, plug into your computer. You, the software is free. It, it comes with it on a thumb drive, but you can download it as well. Um, you can plug in, preload the program, whatever it is you need to do. Um, so uh, once you do that, you know, you can install it or you can plug into it, you know, anytime you want you can plug into it live it'll do live logging um, but it's all done through this usb port so it's uh, really easy to do um, so that's the msd uh, distributorless system um, it does add some wiring to your compartment but i i will say um, it idles far better than it ever used to and this is decent size motor it's got a decent size cam in it um, uh, it, it just, it's better than a mechanical advance in my opinion. It's definitely more reliable. Um, it's more responsive. Uh, so I, I think it was well worth the money. Um, so anyways, I hope that this is helpful uh, to everyone.